Iowa Hawkeye men's basketball program with some much needed news out of the transfer portal on this Monday, getting a commitment from the leading scorer of a pretty darn good basketball conference. We'll talk about Ben Cricky and his commitment to the Hawkeyes in just a second. But as always, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Ascent Nutrition. I've talked about their Lion's Mane Mushroom. If you haven't checked this stuff out yet at GoAscentNutrition.com, what are you waiting for? A sense organic lion's mane mushroom has been shown to support brain health, memory, healthy stress response, overall immune system health. You can mix it into yogurts, juices, smoothies, cereals, etc. And you can hardly taste it, folks. I don't think you can really taste it at all. That's my personal opinion. Use this code Hawkeyes for 15% off your order. And of course, to read more about this awesome new product from Ascent Nutrition, click on the link in the description below. Or just type in GoAscentNutrition.com and at checkout, use that code Hawkeyes for 15% off your order. Again, that's the code Hawkeyes for 15% off your order. And of course, check out all their other products, including their Ascent Coffee, which I drink daily. All right. Want to get to the the big time news out of the transfer portal today. The Hawkeyes haven't had really good news from the transfer portal in two years since landing Philip Rebracha. Out of North Dakota, perhaps this will be of a similar impact. Ben Cricky, leading scorer out of the Missouri Valley Conference, Valparaiso transfer forward Ben Cricky has committed to the Hawkeyes. He's listed at six foot nine, two hundred thirty pounds, very similar in size to a Philip Robracha. And I saw a tweet uh, a little bit ago from John Miller, former uh, Hawkeye Nation, I think editor in chief, founder of Hawkeye Nation, and he made a comment about how he. When he looks at Cricky on tape, he doesn't see someone who maybe is as physical as Robracha was, but uh, is a very talented scorer. I would agree with that assessment. Uh, I watch him, and, and he knows what he's doing, right? He knows why he's out there. You watch him. He can stretch the floor. He is a lefty. I guess it's fitting that Iowa gets another lefty because they're going to be down Connor McCaffrey, Chris Murray, and Josh Agundale. They had a bunch of lefty talent uh, over the last couple of years. But Cricky gives you great touch around the rim, good footwork, um, he can shoot the three, doesn't shoot a ton from outside, um, but he's really good in the pick and pop game. Um, and again, he is uh, very good around the rim, good feel. You look at his stat lines over recent seasons, uh, he has just been terrific. 36 minutes per game, an average of 14 field goal attempts per game, 55% from the field for Ben Crick, and he's an 80% free throw shooter, 19.4 points per game for the Valpo big along with six rebounds. He's going to give them something they desperately needed. And that's one thing I'm not saying he's going to be able to replicate what Phil Perbracha did at this level. I'm certainly not implying that Kirk, he's going to come in here and score 19 a game like he did at Valpo. But one thing Philip Perbracha really struggled with at Iowa was his shooting. I mean, he just didn't shoot the ball real well. And I know Iowa didn't ask him to stretch the floor a ton. He showed on tape that he could do that a bit at North Dakota Certainly thought he'd be a better free throw shooter than he was at Iowa. I think Cricky, given his stroke, given his shot, I think he's going to be a very good free throw shooter and an adequate three-point shooter. They need a big who can step out and make a three if need be. I look at a guy like Luca Garza. Certainly not saying he's going to be Luca Garza, but Garza was certainly that type of guy, and that's why Garza still has a shot in the NBA and is getting time between the G League and the NBA. But Cricky, at six foot nine, maybe not as big as a guy like Luca. But uh, he's got great shooting touch. He's got a nice little fadeaway. Um, Again, really good with that left hand. And he is going to be able to play right away. Iowa is in desperate need of uh, experience and scoring at the five position. And although he's just 6'9", Iowa's been dealing with 6'8", 6'9", since Rebracha got here and Luca left. So he'll come in. I'm guessing he's going to start. He's got one year of eligibility remaining. And remember, he's not the first guy Fran McCaffrey has taken out of Valparaiso, Bakari Evelyn was a Valpo transfer several years back as well. And uh, even though Valpo has not been a great program in recent seasons, obviously Fran McCaffrey and company trust what they're getting here with Ben Cricky. And um, I mean, look, it's a good conference. There's no question about that. Drake, a uh, really good basketball team that made the NCAA tournament this past season. And of course, uh, are just really good year in and year out. Belmont's another one. And I know people have talked about Evan Bronze, the Iowa City native who's a big at Belmont. Could he be coming back to Iowa as well as a walk-on? Nothing's been made official that I've seen on that. But he is an Iowa City native, and those rumors have been swirling. He's been in the transfer portal for a while. But Cricky has made it official via his Instagram that he's committed to Iowa. Again, one year of eligibility remaining, and his point totals for his first four years of playing, 
Seven points a game, 12 points per game, 14 points a game, 19 points per game. Those nursing up in the right direction, similar trajectory with his rebounding numbers. As his minutes have gone up, so has his production. I think he'll be able to come here. I'm not saying he's going to give you uh, what Robracha gave you his senior year, but I wouldn't be shocked if he can give you 10 to 12 points a game. Wow. Huge, huge, huge plus. And again, Iowa lost Chris Murray. I haven't talked about that yet in the show, but they've officially lost Chris Murray. And of course, they lost uh, Josh Gundelay, Connor McCaffrey, Aaron Euless, all those guys gone. So they're not done the transfer portal yet. They've got a visit scheduled with uh, Wofford transfer BJ Mack, another big, would not be shocked to see them take him. I think he can stretch the floor maybe a little bit more than Cricky from three. And he gives you maybe more of the physicality that uh, maybe you don't get with Cricky, or at least I haven't seen on tape from Cricky and a little bit of tape I've been able to watch. And then Jordan Miner, who's kind of a defensive guy, but also can score the basketball from Merrimack. Uh, he was a former conference uh, defensive player of the year. Uh, he's also scheduled to take a visit here in a few days later this week. I'm recording this on April 10th. So Iowa not done in the transfer portal, and they've made contact with a bunch of players. So Fran McCaffrey, even though they didn't take anybody last year, they're committed to taking one this year. And let's be honest, they don't have a choice, right? They need a big, and they got one in Ben Cricky. By the way, he's from Canada. Kind of a side note, never played hockey. I read that, uh, I believe it was uh, Sports Illustrated. I think it was Rob Howe that uh, did a write-up on Ben Crick and his commitment earlier this afternoon. I was out, missed the news when it initially broke, but I found that interesting. From Canada, didn't play hockey. Remember, Iowa tried to make a push for a Canadian big last year in the portal. Fardaz Amak, who ended up at Texas Tech and is now back in the transfer portal. But they've got Cricky, and he'll uh, he'll become a member of the team here this summer as they head off to Europe for a trip. And we'll continue to monitor recruiting and the transfer portal cycle. It is a busy one, as always. Appreciate you tuning in for another segment here. Stay tuned throughout the offseason as we continue to talk about the Iowa men and women on the basketball court. Of course, the football team, uh, full go in spring practice as well. We've got coverage for football coming up as well. Keep it locked right here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. We'll talk to you soon.